Yeah, where are they at now? They took off. So someone shot the side and the kid. Shooting at someone in the water. Alright, where's the person they that got all hit? took off? I don't know if anyone got Someone hit. did. I'll be right back. Yeah, it was over there. Shot in the back, got shot in the left arm. He also got shot. Give Charlie kissing here. Yep. Where'd the boat go? Uh, we don't know. Both arms? Uh, no. On the shoulder, but it's great. Let me get that. I'm on my way. Stay away, stay away. Do you the hospital? Ambulance is coming, okay? No, my wife, you just get shot too. Where's your wife at? Hey, hey, go, go, hey, back up, back up. I know I know it hurts, man, but I gotta be here. No, no, no. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take off this little makeshift seal, and we're gonna wipe it down, yep, yep. and you're gonna place that one on it. Yep. Okay, stick it right where you see this f***ing red mark, right? Yep. Right, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Your wife got shot? Yeah, she's on the oh, hospital. Yeah, yeah, There's another the fucking the person out there. We talked to them. No, I don't know. Alright, let's go. No, let's go. You got a front? Uh, no. No, no, no front? Yeah. Alright, let's keep him up. He's got one gunshot right here. Okay. He's got one that grazed the shoulder. And he's got an entrance in the back. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. No, he can't breathe. Hey, my man. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. Yeah, I got it somewhere. I know his nose. I got you, dog. I got you. Let me see that thing right there. Yep. No, you're you not going to die. Don't be stupid. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Honestly. We can let it here. I got you. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Over there. I gave him that game. Jump over here. Okay. Come around. Come right here, bro. Pull him up on the backboard, can we close? You got another pair of straps here. Let me see. Pull him up on the backboard, can we? Go this way. Central. Governor Ron DeSantis in West Palm Beach today and his visit comes just one day after the county school district pushed ahead with a mask mandate that defies his executive order. He addressed the board's decision to refuse to re reverse course. CBS 12's Andrew Lawholm joins us live with the governor's reaction. Andrew. Good evening. So both the school board and the governor called what the other side is doing illegal. Palm Beach, one of several school districts in the state that has a mask mandate. Governor Ron DeSantis said today that he fully expects the state's board of education to partially defund the school district here. The Palm Beach County School Board says they have to mask their students and staff in order to protect them from COVID. A Tallahassee judge recently sided with them. Governor Ron DeSantis previously signed an executive order banning mandates. He thinks it should be a choice like it is in Martin County. Martin County obviously is following the law. Palm Beach is not. At this point, I believe that the state government's broken the law because there's a court order that says they can't do what they're doing to us. The state is following the same legal steps as last year when they wanted to reopen schools, which they ultimately won. I'm confident that, that we are going to have a very, very strong appeal on that. In dueling letters Wednesday, the State Board of Education set a 5 p.m. deadline for the district to make masking a choice or risk lose funding. Superintendent Mike Burke fired back his own letter, refusing to stand down. 5 p.m. came and went with masks still required. DeSantis expects funding equal to board member salaries to be pulled, exactly what happened in Broward and Alachua County, where masks are required. I think that's going to play out, um, but I do think you'll see the Board of Education in the meantime um, do, uh, you know, discipline the politicians similar to what they did in Alachua. So to put COVID in perspective here in Palm Beach County, all last school year, there were about 3,800 COVID cases. So far this year, there are 3,700 cases and we're less than a month into school. Yeah, those negotiations are now underway as the weekly positivity rate in Okeechobee County is at the highest on the Treasure Coast at 25%. The vaccination rate only 46%. And compared to neighboring counties that are vaccinating 64% or more, Okeechobee County is falling behind and the impacts can be felt in the school district. For many teachers in Okeechobee County during this coronavirus surge, it's not a question of if they'll get sick, but when. It really puts a huge deficit on our workforce. So it really took us by surprise that once 
we started within the first week, we were already starting to send students home and staff homes. Jorge Botello runs the Okeechobee County Teachers Union, where over 2,700 of the district's 6,000 students are now in quarantine. His members worry if they're sent home because of possible exposure, they'll run out of paid sick leave before they're allowed to go back to work, forcing them to use vacation time or not get paid. We're hoping that this will alleviate some of that stress that this has caused. Today, the teachers union is asking for 10 additional sick days to cover possible COVID leave. The school district is working with them. I, I think we're working through it. We're going to plug through it. We we know that we have lots of cases as far as the, the number of students that were excluded because they've been exposed to a positive. Also on the table, improving working conditions with the pandemic in full swing. Superintendent Ken Kenworthy says the district is constantly working to slow the spread. We're trying to social distance where possible. Uh, we have a lot of small schools that don't have the classroom square footage that allow for the six feet social distancing. But um, there's a lot of rumors out there about shutting down schools. We're not shutting down schools. Uh, we're not going to, you know, shut schools down. That's too big of an impact on the community. Yeah, the superintendent tells CBS 12 News he's confident that the school district and the teachers union will reach an agreement. He says teachers will be taken care of during this ongoing pandemic.